Hey there, it's Ben Hassel here, and here in this Photoshop tutorial, we're gonna have a look at how we use two different techniques of creating transparency in Adobe Photoshop. One is using the built-in shape tools um, in Photoshop, and the second is using layer masks, and we're gonna have a look at how we can combine them to create some very cool graphic effects. So let's dive in, have a look at how we work with these two different methods of making transparency in Photoshop and some of the very cool designs uh, we can create with that. So basically, this is going to use a combination of an image layer, uh, one of our shape tools. So we're going to use the rounded rectangle shape tool um, and then some layer masks as well to kind of create this uh, split shape. So we are going to come down our toolbar uh, towards the bottom, first of all, and we're looking for the rounded rectangle. Now, if you don't see that straight away, then just click and hold on either your rectangle tool or your ellipse tool, whichever one you see, um, just below the selection tool, and you're looking for the rounded rectangle tool. So basically, we're going to stretch out around a rectangle here, and once we've dragged that out, um, it's going to be filled with a color. Now you want to make sure that when you drag out your rounded rectangle, you have the shape option selected up here at the top. So it doesn't really matter which color um, we're going to use. We're going to use something called clipping mask to place our image within our shape. So I'm going to take my background layer now that we've got our shape set up, and I'm going to duplicate it. So I'm going to drag it down to my new layers button or you can right click on it and duplicate it. And once we have our new background copy, we're gonna drag that up above our rectangle. So once that's done, um, we are gonna right click. I can create a clipping mask. And what you'll see if we now turn off the background layer is our image uh, within uh, that clipping mask. So I'm gonna keep my image selected and grab the transform tools. So I'm gonna use free transform, which is command or Control and T, depending on whether you're using a Mac or Windows. And now we can resize that image and it's going to resize within uh, the frame of that rectangle, that rounded rectangle that we used. So I'm going to hit enter once this is a bit smaller. And now what I want to do is basically split this image uh, down the middle. So if I go to my two layers here, um, I'm basically going to put them together into a group. So I'm gonna highlight them by holding down shift to select both those layers. And then I'm gonna right click and go to group from layers up here at the top. So it's basically gonna make a new group uh, from both of those layers. So I'll call this group one, that's fine. And now with this new group selected, I'm just gonna to go to my polygonal lasso tool and I'm gonna create an angle here. So basically the polygonal lasso tool allows you to click from point to point around a shape and with that selected if I now add a layer mask it's going to mask out that left hand side of that image. So I'm just going to add a new layer below here so we can kind of see what's happening and do shift F5 so we can kind of see what we've got. So basically we've got half of that original image um, within the left hand side of the rectangle that we created um, on this new group. I'm going to now duplicate the group down to my new layers button um, or I can right click on the layer and then with the layer mask here I'm going to select that and do command and I which is going to invert uh, my layer mask and now this is where once we've inverted that layer mask you can see it's basically flipped the selection I'm going to go to my move tool uh, and I'm going to uncheck auto select here at the top um, or you can go to auto select and select group um, and that will basically allow you to select that group and now we can split those two parts of that image into two different parts. We can split the, the image layer there. So it's kind of a fun technique. We can use different kinds of images for that. So if we duplicate our background layer again. I'm going to bring this up to the top. Instead this time uh, I'm going to make a circle. So I'll grab my ellipse tool and I'll stretch this out. And basically when you're using the clipping mask option you always want to have the, the shape with the transparency below the image. So I'm going to put this shape below the image and now if I come to my layer above, right click, I can create a clipping mask as we did before and you can see now if I select both those layers by holding shift we have a circle with um, that kind of layer split. So we'll do something a bit different here. I'm going to right click on those and make a group from those layers. So once that pops up we'll click OK and call that group 2 
and then I'm going to come to my polygonal lasso tool and I'll just click here and make a kind of lightning bolt shape on that new group, create a clipping mask and again we can right click, duplicate that group and then invert the clipping mask and if we grab the move tool, shortcut for that is V and basically now we can separate those two out so we can create this kind of uh, lightning bolt effect. So I can just jump between those different layers, uh, position them, add a little bit of rotation to them both if I want to kind of stretch them out a little bit and even change the scale of one and select them both just to move them so they're on the camera. So you can see we get this nice effect we can blend mixing our shape layers and our selection tools um, to kind of add to our designs in Adobe Photoshop. So kind of a quick tip there, but hopefully that's been useful, um, especially if you want to kind of do these types of split designs. And if you enjoyed this, then please do hit the subscribe button um, and the notifications button. And I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.